Jess from Sally Tomato and I'm delighted to show you how to make our Monroe mini pattern. I designed this pattern in two sizes which can be carried together as a set or apart. Choose between a clutch and a card case. Use the clutch to carry essentials and instantly elevate any look. The convenient card case is perfect for keeping all of your cards in one place. This simple sleek design was inspired by the talented, charismatic actress and singer Marilyn Monroe. I've also included instructions for three different closure styles. Choose between a stud button, magnetic snap, or turn lock for the clutch, and a stud button or magnetic snap for the card wallet. Also, for the clutch version, you have the option to add a crossbody strap in two styles. My favorite part about this pattern is that the card case fits neatly inside the clutch, making these two accessories a complete matching set. Be sure to purchase the pattern before taking this class. The pattern and your supplies can be purchased from our website or request them at your local quilt shop. Please remember to shop local whenever you can. So, I'm sure you're eager to make one of these of your own, so grab your supplies and let's get started. First, start by gathering your supplies. You'll need a piece of main fabric. We'll be leaving this entire project raw edge, so fabrics you could use are cork fabric, faux leather, craft tex, or any other fabric that doesn't fray. There's a few helpful notions that you'll need, including a spool of sulky 40 weight poly deco thread. Choose between a snap spool size or king size. I love this thread because it's durable for bag making, it's great for both top stitching and piecing, and it has a great shine for a professional finish. You'll also need some clover wonder clips, chalk or a removable pen, basting tape, a stiletto, a zipper foot, Teflon foot, permanent glue, rotary punch, screwdriver, and some paper tape. If you're making the clutch size, you'll need two 3 quarter inch rectangle rings used for the clutch handle. There are a few different closure options and you'll only need to choose one of the following. For the card case or clutch size, options include a short stud button or half inch magnetic snap. Additionally, for the clutch size only, you could add a lock closure such as a flip lock or a small classic turn lock options. If you'd like to add a crossbody strap, you'll need two 3 quarter inch swivel hooks and one short stud button or one 3 quarter inch slider buckle. Remember, you'll only need one adjuster hardware depending on the style of strap you'd like. Also, for the clutch size only, there is the option to add a crossbody strap in two different styles. Choose between a short stud button adjuster or a slider buckle adjuster. For the stud button, you'll simply push the stud through the holes to reach your desired length, and the slider buckle, you'll just slide the buckle along the strap to adjust it. On the wrong side of piece A main panel and piece B flat facing, mark according to the pattern so that way you'll angle the top edge. Cut a diagonal line between the center and each side mark on piece A and B. Then position a standard spool of thread in each upper corner and lower corner to shape the flap edges of piece A and piece B. Simply trace the outer edge of the spool and cut along the mark line to round each of those corners. Next, I'm going to show you how to install three different closure options. Simply follow the relevant directions to install your desired closure hardware. Remember, for the clutch size, options include a stud button, magnetic snap, or lock. And for the card case size, options include a stud button or magnetic snap. You can visit our YouTube channel for video tutorials on how to install each of these hardwares. Otherwise, you'll follow the manufacturer's instructions included with the hardware that you purchase. With right sides up, install the stud according to the pattern in from the straight edge of piece A main panel. Next, with wrong sides together, align the shaped flap edges of the main panel and the flap facing. 
You can use basting tape or sewing clips to help hold these pieces together. Top stitch the flat facing in place an eighth inch from all edges. Next, you'll use a rotary punch to cut a hole centered according to the pattern in from the flap edge. Then cut a quarter inch long slit towards the stud. With right sides up, install the female half of the snap centered according to the pattern in from the straight edge of piece A main panel. Then with wrong sides together, center a scrap of your main fabric over the snap and glue it in place. This will help secure the hardware and protect your items and your fabric from getting scratched from those prongs of the snap. Next with right sides up, install the male half of the snap centered according to the pattern in from the flap edge of the flap facing. Make sure you fold the prongs away from the upcoming eighth inch seam allowance. Then with wrong sides together, align the shaped flap edges of the main panel and flap facing. You can use sewing clips or some basting tape to hold these pieces together. Top stitch the flap facing in place an eighth inch from all edges. To install a purse lock, have the lock and your fabric right sides up and install the male half of the lock centered according to the pattern on piece A main panel. Then with wrong sides together, center a scrap of your main fabric over the back side of the lock and glue it in place. This will help protect your fabric and your items inside your bag from getting scratched by the prongs. Then with wrong sides together, align the shaped flap edges of the main panel and flap facing. You can use basting tape or sewing clips to hold these pieces together. At your machine, top stitch the flap facing in place an eighth inch from all edges. Next, you'll install the female half of the lock centered according to the pattern in from the flap edge. The face plate should be against the main panel and the back plate should be against the flap facing. Next, we're ready to attach the interior slip pocket. First, start by top stitching an eighth inch from the top edge of piece C slip pocket. Apply double-sided basting tape to the sides and bottom edge of the pocket. Then, with wrong sides together, position the top edge of your pocket according to the pattern on piece A main panel. Then, top stitch an eighth inch from the sides and bottom edge of your pocket. A Teflon foot will help your fabric move smoothly as you sew. Skip to the next section of instructions if you're making the card case. Start by sliding both rectangle rings over the end of piece D handle. Then with wrong sides together, fold the handle matching the short ends. Adjust the rings so one ring is on each end of the handle and the short ends meet according to the pattern from one of the folded edges. Use sewing clips to hold in place. Top stitch about 3 8 inch from each ring on both short edges and an eighth inch from both long edges of the handle. I'm using a narrow foot, but a zipper foot will also work to help stitch close to the edges and your hardware. Thread one piece E handle connector through each ring and with wrong sides together, fold the short ends of each connector so they meet in the middle. Use some sewing clips to hold the layers together. Next, with right sides up, center the bottom edge of the handle according to the pattern on the main panel. You can use paper tape to hold the handle in place. 
Top stitch the handle in place by sewing a quarter inch wide rectangle along your previous top stitching on each inside end of the handle. Also, top stitch each connector in place an eighth inch from the side edges and about three eighths inch from the rectangle rings. With wrong sides together, fold the bottom edge of the main panel up according to the pattern and align and secure the side edges with sewing clips. Top stitch both sides an eighth inch from the edges. Make sure to back stitch at the very top edge of the panel. Skip this section of instructions if you're making the card case or if you don't want to attach a crossbody strap to your bag. You can visit youtube.com backslash Sally Tomato for a video tutorial on how to make a crossbody strap with a stud button or a slider buckle. Otherwise, you can make your strap using your desired method. After your strap is complete, you can attach each of the swivel hooks to the rectangle rings on your bag. And voila! Your project is complete. I hope you're feeling proud and accomplished because you've created such a beautiful bag. I truly hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed this mini pattern, join our monthly mini club for only $5 a month and receive a new mini pattern to your mailbox or inbox every month. These mini patterns are designed for all skill levels and they are intended to be a quick sew project. Most patterns will include a free video tutorial on YouTube such as this one. Share photos of your completed project using hashtag Sally Tomato and hashtag Monroe Bag. We would love to see how you're using your new stylish bag. And remember to keep smiling because life is a beautiful thing and there's so much to smile about. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any future tutorials and stick around for more inspiration. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.